live in the world you're living in and make it Islamic, right? It's like uh, the best you could do is to do as best as you can, which is what I can think. I can see you trying to do essentially, right? Uh, as as much as possible, you're trying to avoid to bring like these women that is, you know, what doing all of this, you know, <laughs> prostitute kind of activities online or this or that. You're trying to avoid doing that, for example. You're trying to bring people who are more educating the people on an inter intellectual level because you know something is, which is really funny is like you do not need to be number one a clown number two using women's bodies in order for you to get views and i think the fact that the whole western world in a way the whole streaming world think you have to either do one of these two things in order for you to get views is pathetic it's honestly the most pathetic thing I've have seen. It is an admit of defeat in every in every level. You know, it's an admit that these people have got nothing intellectual to offer, have got no no real benefit to the world that they can put forward. That's why they have to rely on using women or have to rely on acting in the most ridiculous, crazy type of uh, you know childish manner because this is what gets the clicks. Like, and you know, I don't, I, I'm not, I don't like using myself as an example, but. It's not even just me or any anyone in general. You would see people, brothers, doing da'wah, and you'd see them on li live streaming, and you'd see them with the, with an average of seven, eight k uh, people watching. And there's no women's in, there's no women in the screen. There is no uh, you know jumping like a clown, making uh, uh, monkey noises, acting like you're homosexual, and and you know like getting all of these you know uh, physical objects out of the screen to show someone's butt. <laughs> yeah, all of this is like crazy stuff that you're about to do right now. Yeah, so. There is no need for any of that in order for you to get uh, people interested because you're offering value. The difference is you're actually offering value to the world. You're offering, you're offering information. You're helping people who are, who are looking for answers for certain questions. You're educating people. You're educating the world. You're giving them information. You're giving them benefit. And they are curious about these things. That's why these people are watching. So I, I honestly think it's, it's pathetic when people think that I need a woman. Uh, not just a woman, I need a woman's body to be, to be very specific there because it's not about the woman. Uh, uh, let's see if they're going to bring a woman in, in a hijab in a burqa or something, they're going to put her on the, sc the stream for views. They're not going to do that because it's, that defeats the purpose, right? It's not about the woman. It's about using the woman's body in that, in that way for, for the, the viewers who are uh, sadly pathetic most of the time and got nothing going on in their lives. So they need to see a woman in the screen because they have no real interaction with women in real life. So they end up watching this stuff and then getting, you know, uh, excited by watching, you know, whatever kind of things that appear on the screen. And I think this is pathetic first because they are using their viewers because, you know, they, 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 this woman that comes on the, on the screen, they're using her as an object to get content. And then they're using their viewers, the weak uh, mentality of their viewers and the, uh, the fact that they're not able to get anything. So that's why they keep screaming, bring us a woman in the screen. Where, where is the girls? Where is the girls? Where is the girls? 24 hours. I think it's just pathetic, honestly. This this whole scene, this whole kind of streaming world in the West is pathetic. Uh, this, this is the least I could say. About I mean, it, that's the that's the game of entertainment. And, you know, I did a month straight, and they never speak about that, a month straight of just doing that while completely halal content, I, like even refrain from things like music. We're just a month speaking to sheikhs, speaking to students mm -hmm. of knowledge like yourself, having uh, Islamic conversations. And then they don't talk about it for a month straight. And then for people to still insinuate like I'm in Mecca, I'm literally streaming in Medina, like in a Haram, all the way over there with half the viewers that I, I have in America because it's, you know, it's my religion and people still it, call me a fake Muslim, but I don't really, it doesn't really affect me anymore. I, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm just trying to, to add something good to this conversation because I know how the entertainment is, is I, people want to see that, you know, you're going to have to mm -hmm. cop. And ultimately you do have to compromise a halal completely to be able to garner a good audience, right? Like, mm -hmm. for example, think about like the ads that show up. Some of them are haram, right? If you're going to be scrolling and looking at Twitter, there's going to be music playing. You're going to be cursing sometimes. It, it just happens. If you do debates and stuff like that, you're going to be speaking to kafir, or there's going to be women. Like, you, it's there's some semblance of free mixing. In order to be a good entertainer, entertainer, you do have to compromise to some extent. Don't you agree? Yeah. So. I kind of disagree and agree in the same time. Like I'll explain why. Like for example, you say you have to speak to someone who's not a Muslim. That's not haram from my Islam point of view. That's encouraged. That's what that way is, right? If I if I'm, yeah. I need to speak to someone who's not a Muslim, uh, you say for example you have to speak to women. Okay, there's a difference between I speak to women on, on my live streams, but they have their cameras off, and I have a discussion with them about what they actually believe and what they actually think, and not how their body looks, and you know what, what they're wearing today. You know, <laughs> that's not what the stream is about, right? So it's not about also not talking to women. You can also talk to women, but it, it's about the idea of. Why are you talking to me? What, what, what is the reason you're using it? You talk about, for example, scrolling, right? 
whatever you follow is most of the time what the algorithm is about to show you. What you click on is what the, what the algorithm is going to recommend to you most of the time. So if you click on my YouTube, if you open my YouTube, for example, all is going to appear is the Islamic content, this, this person, this sheikh, this person. This is what is going to appear, right? This person doing da'wah. This, this is what is going to appear. This, if this is what you watch, this is what, what YouTube would recommend for you, for example, right? And certain apps that I don't use at all, like, for example, TikTok, because it's like whatever you, doesn't matter what you follow, they're trying to show you something. They're trying to you, funnel you into some kind of, you know, prostitution online for women or this. Or this. They're just trying to do it either way, whatever you're trying to do. That's why it's I don't even funnel. have it on my phone. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I don't even have it on my phone because it's, it's all a plan to do that. So uh, there is a level of, in Islam, we don't have this idea of compromise. We don't need compromise because Islam allows you all the room that you need. The only need, time you need compromise is Islam is not perfect enough that it allows you the room that you need. Right? So the point is Islam has the room, all the room that you need. You don't need to compromise. You don't need to change. You don't need to do anything in that way. But, but this is what I was telling you. Look, I'm speaking again from an Islamic point of view. And I told you before last time that you're kind of coming from a completely different world. You are within a completely different world. You live in a completely different state. So you will have to kind of, you're in the end. If you want to continue what you're doing, there has to be a mixture. But you're, you're decreasing it as much as you can, which is a very respectful and an honor, honorable thing. And I hope in the end you're able to kind of make it uh, the best way possible, you know, when you're able to. Yeah, I'm, I'm, really I'm, avoid it. I am trying my best. And I was wondering, did, did you get the chance to watch the, um, the debate with uh, the 2v1 debate with XQC and uh, Destiny? Well, I honestly did not, I, I you know, <laughs> I'll tell you something funny, right? We, I had someone like uh, DM me like not, not, not long ago, like today, I, I was just scrolling and I found it and someone said, I think we had a debate with this person about that, that, that and please tell him not to do this, not to do that. And I was I'm thinking like, okay, <laughs> you know, like it's funny at the same time, they're thinking that I'm going to call you. Okay, brother, what, what are you doing? I understand. This is the thing. I understand you've got this passion to speak about Islam, which is good. Like to tell people about Islam and to also you know, educate your viewers to speak to these kind of lost YouTubers about like what Islam is and what, and a purpose of life and, and that you shouldn't live, you know, and your wife is cheating on you and you're leaving you and you're asking for girls' feet and stuff. You shouldn't be doing this stuff, you know? You should, you should be actually, yeah, you should actually be living a, a good life and getting married and having children and, and living a, like an actual human being, right? Mm -hmm. so, so I appreciate you do, doing that and I understand. But sometimes you have to, as I said, you have to educate yourself a little bit on the topics and, and the points that you make. So we can watch it, inshallah. I didn't watch the full thing, but we can watch it. And I didn't get a chance because... Oh, you know, okay, I thought you were going to be able to watch. I, I, honestly, it, it's not really... I, we could show some highlights, but it's 30 minutes. It's, just, it's a waste of time. Instead of like, I could, um, I could ask you, like, what's the most effective way to, um, to answer? You know, no, no, I think, I think we can watch it. And I'll tell you why we can watch it, because I think you can benefit from it. Like, I want to see how you respond. And then also, I want to show you the tactics that you, they use. It's up to you, of course, in the end. But I want to show sure. you the tactics that they would use with you and you speaking. I think it can be highly beneficial. Not just for you, but for the people watching as well. Okay. Um, I'll bring it up right now. It's on, it's on Twitter. It's, it's around 30 minutes, though. Um, and I, I am, I'm supposed to call, um, I'm supposed to call somebody can... at 8 o'clock. Yeah, no problem. What you can do is you can put it, if you like, on X2 or something, and then we can, you know. Okay, perfect. Li right. Listen to it sure, quickly. Sure. Yeah, Hopefully yeah, you can yeah. catch what these people are saying. Great. I appreciate it. No problem. Okay, I think it's right. Or, you know, we can, we can watch some, you want to watch some clips from it? Uh, it's up to you, but trust me, it's going to be a lot more beneficial if you watch the thing. I think it's on the top. You missed it. It's 31 minutes, isn't it? Uh, where? Down? Is it down? Down, down. You missed it. Is that? Yeah, is this one? Oh, here it is, yeah. I, I can't be homophobic against you if you're not gay. Like, so, well, it's, whatever it's, no, I... it's intention based. That's how I see that. It's, it's, yeah, intention intention based. it's not just intention, it's a difference in, um, in application. Because he'll say, because he'll say that even if the intention, he'll, he'll say that the intention is determined by knowing whether or not you're gay. Because he's saying that if he knew you were gay, he wouldn't say the word, right? Yeah. So I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, well, I think the intention is drawn. When you put the preface behind it, that's, that's what I was saying. With, with the preface of like, a, oh, dude. Um, I see the clip. I, I personally can understand on X2, I, I, by the way. I don't know about your viewers, but most of the stuff I watch on X2, this is how how, how I operate usually. I know, but uh, so these guys, like, the, they already speak in X2. Like, <laughs> they, they do that without even the, the yeah. speeding up thing. So. I, yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. Yeah. You, you're kissing dudes. I think that intent is drawn there. Like, am I delusional here? Or like... no, what are you talking about? So is it intention or the word? Because Who the clearly, fuck is joined, Clearly, Kofum yeah. does not hate gay people. So exactly. is it the word or the intention? 
Why do we say clear? There's nothing clear about that. How do we know that? He just, uh, he, he just said he doesn't hate gay people. That's what I'm saying. I have a gay brother. Wait, if somebody says they don't hate gay people, that means they don't hate gay people? Since when has that ever been the standard by which we determine somebody's, like, feelings? This is, uh, that's not, this is the fucking fin grand finale 2024 cuck off. Yeah. Well, I'm asking you, SQC. You're, you're, so is it the intention or is it the word? Because where do you draw the line? Uh, I, I think I think I try to be reasonable about, about the uh, intention based on what I have um, in front of me. If I do feel like the, because intention is impossible to fucking, to, to, to prove, right? And, and that was not a court of law, but it's like, if you have a general feel, it's what the target was, I don't want my community to hear it. I will be there for why, why do you draw the line for the word faggot with your community? But you can call your fans broke, you could say you want to kill Cheezer, you could say thug. So why, why is faggot? Why did you That's draw true. the line? That is true. So, okay, okay. So, the first question I want to ask you, um, uh, Muhammad Ali, is, is it haram to use words like faggot? Well, if you're just using it generally, I, I don't think, I wouldn't say that's necessarily haram, you know. It's, it, oh, look, using a term generally is very different as well from uh, specifically using it against someone, right? These are two, two separate things. So, uh, you know, demeaning and degrading people, of course, I think, you know, the, the, this is not necessarily a halal behavior to take with anyone, you know, right. specific individual trying to demean them. And because in the end, even if your goal is you actually care about people that you want good for them, you don't want them to start having a, a defense shield against you because you're insulting them rather than actually listening to you and open up and changing their perspective. So I would say it, it's more of a ripple effect if you use these terms with these individuals. Okay, uh, what about the idea of homophobia? I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to, to defend that. Isn't homophobia part, isn't that ingrained in not just Islam, but all religions, the idea, because if you look up the definition, it's having negative attitudes or a negative attitude towards gay people. Yeah, they changed the definition, actually. They did. Uh, but I, are these still going to talk about uh, homosexuality? If they are, then let them finish everything, and then I'll, I'll make okay. some comments okay, okay. on it. I don't agree with the Caesar thing. I think that was kind of out of pocket. But um, the other thing, I think one is because, it's, it, is it something that, um, all right, this is like more of a worldview thing, right? Is it something that you can change, right? Is it that people agree that you shouldn't, you sh that you shouldn't hit somebody on it? Is it like a protected class? Are, are broke people, or, 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 or let's say, um, as an insult, even if you don't know the business program, right? Is that like a marginalized group in that way? Marginalized. Okay, so you can change being a faggot. Like you can stop doing that, right? You can't. When you call Puff him a thug, he can't change his skin color. He's always going to be black. Wait, okay, hold on. Just, wait, nothing oh, about thug. Has, so wait, okay, yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 no, I'm saying that the reason that XQC draws a line there, it's not because of this morality thing, because nobody wants to be fat, nobody wants to be broke, nobody, nobody wants, wants to be a Muslim. Why do they get so offended when you make fun of them? That's, that's, not, that's what do you say? Yeah, I was just saying you stop there just to address this this kind of ridiculous, nonsensical claim this blue-haired guy is making, right? So he's trying to say he's trying to equate a personal shame to a, a defense of a, an idea, an ideology. An ideology is not something that is you yourself. This is this is now the false equivalence that he's making in this analogy, right? Right. So when we say, for example, when a Muslim get angry, he gets angry for because he has a belief in a specific ideology, and he believes this ideology is true, and then he believes that you are misrepresenting or, or showing this ideology in a way which sh it shouldn't be. So they're passionate about that ideology that they believe in. But in the example that you made, there's a sense of shame because it's a personal thing. Now, someone come, uh, come and say, okay, but religion is a personal thing. Yes, but this is not, it's the, the difference is it's an ideology that he believes in. It is not an action that he's engaging with as a, uh, engaging with as a human being. So if I'm, if I'm ashamed, for example, uh, if I do gambling or, or uh, you know, I steal or I do any of these things, this is a personal action that I personally do. Not just an ideology that I believe in. These are two separate things. So there is a false equivalence that he's making there. But in the end, no one is saying, Islam is not teaching you to get angry if just anyone is talking about Islam as well. This is another straw man that he's making in this analogy. So 
uh, Islam doesn't teach if someone speaks about Islam, then you just go around and do whatever this stuff is saying. So that's not Islam. But so maybe it doesn't work. Does that false equivalency happen? I notice it a lot, um, not just with these blue hair people, with all of them. Isn't there religion? Because humans are always inclined to follow something. They need faith in something. Don't you think that LGBT and this whole, you know, that craziness, that's become their faith and their religion. That's why they compare it to Islam. Yeah, you, you can say that. You can say it, it has become an ideology for certain people to adopt. But but if you're talking about the sense of shame, it's not to do with the ideology. Like if you call them that, they don't feel ashamed because of their ideology of LGBTQ is being attacked, but is of their personal behavior, personal actions and interaction in that specific act that they're ashamed of doing. Okay. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Like people don't. Exactly. You said that people get offended for being gay because they're. Well, Constant so creator. Uh, that's so what you, okay, you People get offended by being called oh, Muslim let me, let me because they're Muslim. The they're ashamed of being Muslim. The, the way he debates a couple of is he's going to equate well, being Muslim to being gay. Nobody gets offended if if a blue haired destiny calls me a Muslim. Nobody's offended, yeah. right? If I say if I call somebody gay and you're not gay, they'll get offended because nobody wants to be gay. They're not. They're that's not offended. They don't want to be around people that are hateful. They're upset because you're being hateful towards them. The same way that Muslims get offended when you talk about their religion in a negative way. Also, I think I think that that they they have kind of the right to be upset, right? To be kind of shit on that they, they, they can't change right no no no, 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 it do, no it doesn't have to do with can't change or can change like, I, 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 you can change your nationality it doesn't necessarily mean you should attack somebody over their nationality you can change I, like, the country you're living in or whatever it's a well that that's that's gonna it's gonna how that's like like my view on it then. it's like I, I, I don't think it's, it's a good thing to go around just being who you are and getting clapped on other time for it. I think it's just, I think it's a, I think sure, it can feel bad, but I mean, like, insults are supposed to feel bad. But the, yeah, question, yeah, yeah, is, the question is, like, what do you want to make somebody feel bad for, right? If it's a bad characteristic, so if you think somebody's generally bad because they're, like, a Nazi or a tanky or a brokey or they're fat or whatever, those are all, like, bad characteristics, then you say, like, oh, well, fuck it, yeah, you can make fun of people for these things. If you're making fun of somebody for being gay, the implication is you think that being gay is, like, a negative, bad characteristic, and that's why you're being bad for it. That's why uh, the person that can't be an, uh, But that's the question I want to ask you. Is it Islamic to believe that being gay is bad? Yeah, uh, correct. Before right? we talk about before we take before we talk about bad and good, there is there is there is an argument that this guy, the other guy, is making. I don't know who's like his speech is not really clear. This is the this guy, the argument he's trying to make is uh, that the, it is a natural thing to be. It's not a choice. You're born that way. Yeah, and being yeah, gay so is a choice. I, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the thing. This is that what you were saying. But he's 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 rebutting that by saying it's a problem to shame someone for being themselves, mm -hmm. right? But where is the argument? Where is the evidence that he provided that being uh, homosexual is a natural thing, is a natural state of the human being? Where where is the evidence, scientific or otherwise, that shows that? Uh, and by the way, I, me as a Muslim or you or anyone doesn't need to to sh to give evidence for anything because they're making the claim that this is an innate position. You, you are making the claim it's an innate position to be a uh, homosexual, then provide your evidence. Where is the evidence that this is the innate state? Like, no one is going to argue is that is being heterosexual is innate or not, because it's the biological thing. And a man and woman engage, they, they have birth, there's a specific, uh, you know, body parts that are created, and they're supposed to be in harmony in a specific way that God created them to be. That's, that is the biological thing that takes place. But if you want to claim now that, that uh, something other than that is, is natural, then where is the, your evidence for that? The funny thing is that there is evidence opposite to that. So right now, if you try to Google, for example, if you open another page and try to Google 2019, uh, no gay gene, Nature magazine. No gay gene. There's no gay gene, but genetics are linked to same-sex behavior. No, no. Put put Nature magazine. There's a specific research that was published in Nature. I hope it's still there. And they didn't remove it or something. Yes. So this is Nature magazine. Yeah? No one, anyone who understands anything about science knows what Nature is. So there was a massive study, billions of dollars paid, or millions or however, that they did in the West trying to find the gay gene. Why did they try to find the gay gene? Because they tried to justify the fact that, that being gay is actually genetic. It's actually something you don't have a control over, and, and you're forced to be that way. And they spend these millions of dollars on these studies, and they end up, they end up themselves admitting that there is no such thing. There's no gay gene, it doesn't exist. And now, so th this is the first thing, the, study that's did it, the studies themselves they're making is showing that there's no such thing. But not only that, there are studies opposite to that. Like for example, there's a book uh, written by two scientists called My Genes uh, Made Me Do It. My Genes Made Me Do It, you can Google it also if you like. That book has a lot of different studies and, and, and they display why this is not a, an innate thing. And some, yeah, and some of the same yeah, thing like depression, like that that whole idea that it's a chemical imbalance was debunked, thinking that it's something. Uh, depression is not something that you just catch; it's something that you choose to do. Mm. And and some of what the, what they do, for example, some of the evidences they use, they bring identical twins. You know, yeah. what identical twins are. Yes. Identical twins are are almost similar, one hundred percent in their genetic makeup. 
and then they bring one twin who is uh, homosexual and the other is it so how is it a genetic thing when when they are when they basically have almost the same genetic makeup but one of them is is uh, homosexual and the other is not the other is straight and they have the same environment of growing up in so the, these these are the, some of the evidences they display that this is not a natural thing right so this is a book there's even a study a massive study that was done but but it was too against poli po uh, uh, being a political thing you know it was against the, the the liberalism that's why they had to take it down it was a study of dr robert spitzer which is a father of modern modern psychology in america and what he did is he did he conducted a study he spoke to 200 uh, homosexuals on the phone Poor guy. and both of them both of them yeah both of them changed to heterosexual tendencies. All of them, sorry, changed to uh, heterosexual tendencies. 200 people. How? And it was, he spoke to them, that's it. What, what did he so, tell them? Did he give them dawah? Was he Muslim? No, no, he, he is a, 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 a psychologist. He's the father of modern psychology in America, actually. It's not just a, a random guy. His name is Robert Spitzer. And he conducted the study. But he called it a reparative treatment, i.e. repairing something which, which is which is he needs to be repaired. That's why he was attacked by the media and he had to change the name from reparative treatment. And later on, he had to come on and retract the whole study and say, you know what, the study was deficient. Why did he say it's deficient? He said, because you cannot know uh, just through the phone if they actually have become heterosexual or not. And you cannot know when someone is truly homosexual or, or not. Some nonsense to try to avoid the fact that this, the findings of this study that he spent years on, of speaking to 200 people and all of them, have changed into heterosexual tendencies. And, and you, know, you know, before the 1960s, by the way, homosexuality was a psychological disorder. Now, this is not my opinion. This is in every medical textbook. Before the 1960s, before the liberalism and, and the sexual quote-unquote revolution and yeah. all of the stuff that, that happened, this was a psychological disorder. And, and, and they always tied it, the psychologists at that time, they, they tied it to uh, abuse when, when you're young. So, for example, lack of father figure when you're growing up, abused. Or maybe they were child. molested or something, or they had sex yeah, yeah, yeah. young, or they were exposed to yeah, porn. Yeah, yeah. Or, or they were, they're abused by their own parents. Or they don't have a father figure in, in, their, in their family. Mm. For example, growing with, with just a mother. All of these things uh, have been the, the common factor that has been used in all of these studies before the 1960s. When the 1960s came, and it became mm. being gay, at, criticizing it has become politically politically a sin, <laughs> incorrect to do in the Western uh, world, then uh, no one was allowed to, to label it as such. And, and gender, and then you had people like Joe Money, and you have people like, uh, you know, these people are coming, and Alfred Kenzie who came and said, you know what, this, uh, gender is a social construct. You I, know, and also, he's like, I think he was Jewish, correct? Alfred Kenzie? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so these people, look, it's, it's funny when you trace sometimes, you know, the, Pass, when these wait. people come from lineage-wise, you know, it's a different story for a different day. But the thing is this, right? Yeah. They, they propose this nonsense about that the gender is not really, you know, we don't know a man, and these are all ma made up concepts. You know, you had Joe Money and these people conducting studies or actually trying to get pleasure in babies, like in children, in, uh, who are like, so, so it was crazy, crazy stuff, you know. But the thing is, look, so right now I, I've provided you, like, different types of articles and evidences that demonstrates that there's no such thing. Right. I, I don't if even need to finish. Comes... You, you've debunked like the, the, pretty much the rest of the, the debate. Um, I, I, I just, before interrupting you, I'm sorry, but he goes on to say like their position is their morality. Cause I, I go, I was trying to give him Dawa. My argument was that all my morality, all my beliefs, they go back to the Quran, Sunnah, Halas. So that's it. Just Quran, Sunnah. That's, that's how you need to have something that hasn't changed in order to figure out right from wrong. Can you, can you skip then the part that where they're yeah. talking about the gay into into when they get to the age of uh, the age of consent, the marriage of the prophet? Yeah, the age of consent and this and that. Right, but this so it, some... so I, I just want to like their position is that the morality is always adapting, it's always changing, it always changes with the times, and that's how it could be inconsistent. Because if once if one year and one decade it's uh, being gay is a mental illness, and then the other decade is not, then you're always going to shift, and it could easily be corrupted because mankind is or we're inherently flawed. Let's go. Uh, I think the age. Of yeah, the reason right. the reason I'm trying to listen to them is see that no, none of them can claim that we're misrepresenting their position, but taking the, the words of the more, uh, the horse's mouth, you know, we take it from their own mouth and then debunk what they're saying. Uh, I, I want to play this last one, and then uh, okay. can I add? Um, I'm, I want to add uh, this. This guy Steve will do it to the call. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, perfect. He he's um a not he's a disbeliever and he wants to learn a little bit more. You can add the you know, one you want to like. It's up to you. you know, okay, I'm, great. I'm here. Or people internet. <laughs> Yo, what the? <laughs> I, I thought it was haram uh, to make insults. I was uh, just joking with you. Uh -huh. hey, bro, you just said I'm broke, bro. You made an XQC joke. 
You have more money than me, man. Are you talking about? Oh, no, no. My, my internet's still poor than yours. Okay, it's... um, It's up, I think. Up, up. You always go down. It's up. up. Well, it's not really... It's, it's, overall, mankind strives to be better. Once we know more, we can change things. Sometimes textbooks are wrong like science, and they have to fix it. They know more, they improve. I try to adapt and add new parts on a machine that is a stronger machine. It's what I do. It's what I think people should try to do. But so you, your but, morality could be different tomorrow than it is today? Absolutely, 100%. Because there really? are things that we don't know yet about, about the human cognition, psychology, just uh, social behaviors. Sometimes we just don't know some things and we have to adapt to new information. In order also, to cause literally, less harm even, and also, even even religions literally do this. Okay, like even religions update their standards for yeah, how they true. exist and how they um, are, are spread amongst their people and how their nations are ran over time. Like Islam's done this, Christianity's done this. No, Islam has not everybody. done that. That's not true. And, and Christianity has been adapted, but that's besides the point. I'm saying. I mean, the Islam reason... hasn't done this. You don't think that that's Islam or Islamic states haven't changed the way, for instance, that they approach like Dimi? Like the way that they have like other religious groups that live in their countries. Like yeah, there are tons of you're, you're changing morality to politics, and that's not what I'm that's, talking hold about. Hold on, that's I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait! Shut the fuck up. That's not politics at all. What do you mean? That, of said, course, that's you morality. Said, you said there should be. States. You said Muslim countries. I'm talking about the book and theology. I'm sorry. What do you think Muslim state means? That's not involved in religion. What do you think a caliphate is? Who do you think Muhammad was? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, you're 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 shifting the goalposts. This is not like. Hold on, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. I just need to hear you say this. Do you think that politics and Islam are completely dissociated from one another? They don't have anything to do with each other. Right. You saying that it's changing? That's a that's sort of an example of politics changing the religion. That's not that's not to the core, and that's besides the point. How is that Actually, besides the point? I'm sorry. Hold on. I need to hear you no, say no, this. I want you do you to, think that the oh, political stop the video for a second? Look. Now here you need to notice the debate text. I see you falling for for easy tricks there, which is a big problem, right? So this guy, what he's done there is is a, a very easy debate tactic that he uses with people, which is which is moving the goalposts. This is what he done. I he called it out. Goalposts. I said it, but I uh, what, yeah. what should I what no, should no, I have done the there? Problem, yeah, I'll tell you. The problem is you went with the flow with, with with whatever he said next. You went with it. You you responded to it. So first he went from Islam to Islamic State, right? And then he went from Islamic State to politics. And then he claimed that politics and Islam has nothing to do with each other. Who made that claim? This you've never made that claim in the discussion. So he jumped from one to three to four, and he keeps jumping in different hoops. And changing his position why because he's a very sneaky guy and these sneaky people they use terms right and they try you know to combine different terms with each other so they play a game he knows that islam and islamic state are completely two uh, different things that doesn't mean that, that, that in islam we don't have a political system but what we mean is that the actions that the state does is not representatives of the religion of the Quran, sir, this is the point yeah. yeah exactly which is the point that you were making so he was playing a game oh no no but the, the, some states are doing this so what if some states is doing something it doesn't mean that islam has approved it and that's why these states are disagreeing with one another, which is a proof by itself. But they're not r taking one source in how they behave, right? They're not taking the Quran and the Sunnah. So how should, I have done, Sunnah. how should I have done better right there? Because what I said was correct, right? Yeah, what you should have done is you should tell him you, you should stop jumping from this is the you highlight what he done. You say you jumped from this, which, which is what I've done with you. You say to him, look, you jumped from uh, from first saying Islam into the political state and then jumping from the political state to politics and then claiming that politics is not part of Islam, which is a claim I never made. And you say to him, let's stick to the first claim that we were talking about. What is Islam? Ask him this question. That's it. Why is Islam? What defines When you say Islam changes, you made the claim that the religion changes. Why is Islam? What defines Islam and the Islamic teachings? And don't tell me the state because this is not the definition of the religion. Revelation, the revelation is taken by every Muslim's belief from the sources, which is the Quran and Hadith. Mm -hmm. And these don't change. These are written and 1,400 years ago and we have them today. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I, I, I want to, I need to call Steve. I'm going to call him first and then can I add you to the call in about 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, that's fine. No that's fine. Uh, thank you for, for staying yeah. around. I appreciate your time. Um, no problem. W's in the chat for Muslim Lancer, bro. I, and, well, we got it uh, another day. I'll call you earlier so that we can um, do more of this review. Uh, Cause I, I, yeah, res yeah, yeah, I respect your, your intellect quite a bit. And I, I want to, uh, yesterday we had a Twitter space and they were suggesting that I, I have more of these conversations uh, frequently so they would be able to, to get the reps and stuff like that because uh, I just want to make sure that I represent Islam as well as I can because I'm a very new Muslim, but I'm going to be doing these debates more. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine, inshallah. And we can maybe next time talk about that, the Aisha, the Aisha's age thing because we didn't address that. And, and I think it's a very ridiculous thing. So we can talk about it, but, but more in time because we, we are short of time. I'll be waiting around if you need me, inshallah, when you talk to Steve. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because he, I want to give him some da'wah. So, but I think it's going to be too much. Uh, I don't want to bombard him with too, you know. Yes. I'll, I'll, no, 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 you're right. Okay, great. I'll call you right back, okay? No problem. They're spamming W's, by the way. They like you. Okay, alhamdulillah. All right, alhamdulillah. Okay, They're good right guys, back. that's why. Thanks, no bro. Okay. Right. So, like, uh, man, W must have lantern. All right, let's call up Steve. Let's call up Steve.
Be respectful? Am I not being respectful? What are you talking about? I appreciate him. I'll check the Kanye's last tweet afterwards. What did he tweet, chat? What did he tweet? Link it, link it. Steve, what's up, man? Yo, you see me? Yeah, I see you. How are you doing? Good. All right, we live? Yeah, we're live. So so what's going on, Steve? Okay, so I guess I'll, I'll start. Um, uh, I guess me... I don't know where to begin. Um, I don't know. Want to? I can we start where? Dude, I found God. Like I, 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 I've gained faith recently, right? So that's great to hear. But, great. Well, it's super cool. It's actually like one of the coolest things having faith. It's unbelievable because I've I didn't I always believed in God. Like I always believed in a in a higher power, but I never had like faith, which was like cool. So. Me scrolling through Twitter and seeing, um, just seeing like your your tweet, your, all your tweets and stuff. I love like what you're doing. I obviously love like spreading, you know, the word of God. Even though it's your, and I don't mean. Can I say this before I say anything? I say, don't want to get speak your mind. Speak your mind completely. I don't want to get made fun of or anyone or like. If I say I'm a man of God, I notice like a lot of your. I know we were like in a feud, but I noticed a lot of your your people were like. Well, you can't, how are you a man of God if you, or if you drink or gamble or this or that? It's like, I don't want to get made fun of for having faith. <laughs> no, and you shouldn't. It's good. And I, I believe you're genuine about that. But it's the same reason like you're attacking me and saying, uh, you know, calling me a scumbag and these things for, for pushing the message of God and not being perfect, right? The same reason you're not perfect and you found faith. No man is perfect, right? The God doesn't have the expectation that we're going to, we're always going to be sinful, but we'd have to, to strive to be as good as we possibly can be. Okay, so. Is it, there's no time. There's no rush. Can I explain what happened to me, and then I could say why? Like, want, yeah, we can just, speak your mind. Dude. We address like me attacking you on the internet, and we can talk that through. But I just want to explain because it all comes from me finding faith. So, anyways, uh, recently, all I could see on my phone, and I also want to say this: I've had a lot of things happen in my life to where it's like I have angels, right? Angels that save me there for me i didn't know god if it was god my grandma i don't know i have angels right so but recently like a month ago all i can see in my phone and in person is just like jesus and signs of god and like it became so much to where i noticed it right and then there was a <laughs> it was one thing that happened dude one and it's kind of funny uh, there's one thing that happened is uh I'm getting all these signs, whatever, and I'm watching this UFC fight, right? And I have twenty thousand dollars on 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 like the next the main event, whatever. So I'm just watching the UFC for fun. And one of the workers at my house hands me this book, right? While I'm watching the UFC. And it said, and it's God has a wonderful plan for your life. And I'm like, okay, this is a lot. I didn't know <laughs> it was just too much. And then I have 20k on this UFC fight, right? And I clearly won two one. I clearly won two one. And I open up this page. And I just remember seeing the first word, <laughs> chapter one. And I flip. And the first word that I see, you got to think this guy gave this book to me and said, "I want to give it to you because God's changed my life. I want to. I just want to like help other people. Whatever he said." And the first word I see when I flip it is the word gambling. Right. And I was like, "Oh my God! If this fight loses." There is way too many signs. I have to read this book. I just have to read it, right? And um, by page forty-nine, I just had faith. And a lot of it, a lot of it, going uh, to do with it was like in the beginning was saying how there's like there's so many Christians in America and so many people that believe in God and yet rep Jesus and this and that and are not gonna get or aren't actually like gonna get. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't want to say eternal life because I'm not really sure exactly 
what the hell is going on. Mm -hmm. But a lot of basically the book said there's so many millions of people that are like basically fake believers in a way and that they're not going to be saved. So I really took that as like, holy shit, this is too much. I'm meant to like, not like rep Jesus 100%, but not be afraid to be like, yo, I'm Christian. If you believe in God, it's cool because it almost became like not cool to rep God, right? Like it's it's weird. It's it's like, it, it's, again, please don't make fun of me, anybody watching this, anything. I really don't know anything. This is all new to me, right? And I just felt like I'm supposed to just not spread the message of God, just say, hey, guys, it's fucking, it's cool if you do it. Because honestly, I don't see anybody repping Christi Christianity besides like Mark Wahlberg or someone. Like, no, it's not like cool thing. So I don't know. I just thought that I, just, God has, um, like, God works through me. And it was so crazy <laughs> to work. <laughs> like, at the time, all this stuff is happening, all these good things. It's so funny because this sounds crazy. Again, don't judge me. Takashi 69 hits me up to come back. Like everything's going good in my life. Takashi 69 hits me up like right away after. And I was like, oh my God, that guy's the most nasty person ever. And I was like, dude, that guy literally re represents evil in my life. And it's like the devil. He's such a nasty person that I literally think the devil works through him and God works through me, you know? I And again, I don't want to be made fun of. I know this sounds crazy. At the end of the day, if I'm wrong, it's like- No, I'm but that, that only... doesn't sound crazy. But how did that go from uh, attacking me on Twitter? Because that's the thing. Hold on, I'm gonna get to that. I just wanted to explain that. Because when I see you going on Twitter and you're like, basically thinking that you're like above everyone else if they drink or gamble or it's so bad to drink, gamble, this, that. It doesn't matter what it is. It, it's, you know, for example, if you were on Twitter and saying, if you play tennis, you're a bad person. Don't play tennis ever. You're bad if you do it. And then off camera, I see you playing tennis. It's like, what? It's not, I just thought it's not cool if you're using the whole God and, and this for views and clout. And that's right. why I got upset because we be honest, you said it, <clears throat> talk about it. Cause whenever I hung out with you at Red Rock and stuff, uh, this is cool to say. 100%. Okay, whenever I hung out with you at Red Rock, whenever that was, it was a long time ago. I'm not going to sit here and say it was like, oh, it was like last month. I don't know when it was. Do you remember when it was? It was, I think, was last year. I mean, I, I don't drink anymore. I haven't uh, since I reverted last year. And I want to explain something, right? Because you've seen me sin before. Is that you're not a bad person if you sin. And that's the misconception. No, I know that. Right? But, but the, the, the sin is bad. That's the maybe the, the bad, I didn't like like you the action like, is bad, like doing something, okay. but that doesn't describe the person, right? I don't think you're a bad person. Do the people that profit off of these things like should they be doing that? Like, is there a morality that we should talk about? Yeah, but that doesn't define the person that's doing it. And we should strive and we should push each other to do the right thing and and be promoting the right things. But for me, I just didn't like that you are talking down on someone for doing this when you did it in off camera. And I just didn't think that was right. I think that it's best just to be authentic. Uh, if, and, and yeah, so I've, I've seen you drink and gamble and stuff. And it's like, this guy's hating so hard on people that drink and gamble and do this. And then he does it. And then I just got upset if anyone's using, like if anyone's using, cause when I tweeted that I'm a man of God and stuff, I got so much engagement. I'm like, and it wasn't the reason for that. I truly believe I like people look up to me like for real. Like I truly believe it's like my duty just to be like, hey, man, it's cool if you want to rep God and be Christian. And I just felt like that you were, you know, using it for views and clout and didn't, you know, you talk the talk, but you didn't walk the walk. Like you didn't live what you preached. And again, I'm only going based off of one interaction with you a long time ago, right? Mm -hmm. So that my whole thing on you is my interaction with you at Red Rock a long time ago. That's why I was attacking you. And, and I uh, understand that completely because I, you know, I'm not a perfect person and I'm striving to do that. But do you understand the difference between sinning privately and then monetizing it publicly? Sinning privately, monetizing publicly? Right, like doing something, if maybe I've sinned before, but there's a difference between 
doing something in private, but also like putting it out there in the world and, and oh no, I understand, but you shouldn't be. I, I just feel if you do it privately, you shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. You shouldn't be so hard on the people that do. Like you're so above them, and it's so wrong. Because if you do it, if you do it privately, I just, I feel like I love what you're spreading. I love everything you do. I wish to understand more of everything. Uh, I just think you can do what you want to do, and be authentic at the same time. And but not saying that you aren't now. I'm. I, I want to be honest. I'm going based off of what I saw eight months ago, whatever it was, 10 months ago, what, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like a lot can happen in eight, 10 months. I'm, you know fair. what I'm saying? That's fair. And I, I see that claim is, is not true because I am authentic. I admit that I, I sin. The difference is that in, uh, in my religion, we don't believe in publicizing your sins. All right? If you're going to okay. sin, it's, it's better to do it in private because you don't want to spread it throughout the world. And my criticism is for the influencers. And the reason I talk about this is for them to immediately promote things that they know deep down are not good, right? Uh, the rise of prostitution, the rise of pimping, of gambling, spreading um, drug use and all this stuff. If someone is doing that privately, it's that's different than monetizing it and making that your platform and, and getting really rich while the, your audience gets worse, right? The reason that pimping, prostitution, gambling, all these things that people are capitalizing off of so much is because they get richer and more wealthy while their audience gets worse off because now they're drunk, now they're jerking off, and now they're gambling their money away, right? You make money gambling because they're losing. But I mean, that's besides the point, and I understand um, you clarifying that. I want to ask, like, what your what's the confusion that you have? Because any questions you have, uh, I'd be open to answering. Oh, dude, there's so many. This is more like a private thing, because like, if you're like, I really do want to talk to people and understand everything. Because like, simple question is is what's what is when I'm like pray to God, mm -hmm. and like, because like I pray to God and I'm. Again, please don't make fun. I always I say like, thank you. Like, I won't let you down. Thank you for everything. I won't let you down. I I don't know who is that the same is that is Allah and God are they are they the same yeah thing? no that's that's a great question. Allah just means God in Arabic. It's the same word. So like Christians and Muslims, we pray to the same God. Allah. The only difference is that that's the Arabic word for God. If you look at the original version of the Bible, the Bible was written in Aramaic, and you can see that's written that Jesus actually called God. Allah, which is pretty much like Allah. So it, it's not a different entity. It's the same thing. And so you, you saying thank you, showing gratitude, that's, um, that, that's how Muslims pray. That's how we pray too. We show gratitude. We say Alhamdulillah, which means thank you. Thank you, God. Nice. Yeah. So I just, I just was upset because I thought maybe you, you, this whole thing was literally just for views. And I feel like if you need views, if you need to use God to be an influencer, then it's not, you're not meant to be an influencer. If you're, if that's like the reason, I'm not saying that is, but that why I was upset. And if that's you're a fair criticism. That, that's a fair criticism. But I want to point out like for all of March and into the beginning of April, that's the month of Ramadan in Islam, right? I don't know, you know, people who fast, right? Yeah, one of my yeah. best friends who's a sports analyst <laughs> actually and is a full-time gambler is a, you know, he participated. He was super strict, didn't gamble that entire month. And it was like, I just love that. I was like, dude, this guy is super strict. Like during that month, he loves like he's a man of God. He's Muslim. Yet he kept it. He kept it a hundred with me, and I, um, you know, I like that. And I just kind of like if Zaid's, you know, sports analyst that is full time job. He's a full time gambler. Yet he's like super Muslim. Super in, like no disrespect for well, whatever. However, I say he's super, you know, religious. Um. Why can't Sneeko keep it a hundred if just a hundred completely? And again, this is me acting like I know you just because of one interaction at Red Rock, right? We we've of course we've always, we've seen each other a lot, but we haven't really like hung out like that. I considered you a friend, but we never really hung out. Yeah, and, and next time you have those next time you have those issues or grievances, you can you have my number, right? You don't need to go immediately to Twitter and try to like. Oh. You ask your Twitter subscribers, gang up on Sneeko, he's a scumbag, you're texting people, he's a fake, he's a snake, all this stuff. You could just reach out and say that, right? I'm, I'm an authentic person. You could have that conversation. Yeah. But I mean, I want to point out something there. Like your, your friend is not perfect, right? He's profiting off of sin, but at the same time, he's trying to be as good as possible. You, but you don't yeah. believe that he's a, he's a fake Muslim because you're actually seeing him worship, right? If I was faking God for views, then I would not have spent the whole month in the Middle East during Ramadan. I lost viewers, right? 
doing Dawa stream, doing religious content is not as provocative. And also it doesn't make as much money. You make more money from gambling, pimping, and prostitution. That's, that's where all the checks are. Like me rejecting a lot of these deals uh, and like getting, cause I, I did, I did get offered to, to make a lot of money from gambling. And I said, no, because of the, the principle. I, I lost viewers doing strictly Muslim content because people want to see crazy stuff. They want to see you do these challenges, kiss transgender people, you know, drink alcohol, yeah. like those things. That's, that's what's going to go viral and get clicks, right? Me sitting down and having a long conversation with a, a Muslim scholar, that's not what's going to go viral. But that's what I did for the whole month of Ramadan. Every day I, I was getting the prayers done. And I, I don't know if you saw that. And the reason you didn't see that is because they're not going to speak about that, no. right? My no. existence now, because, and you know what this is like, Steve, because you're banned as well. My existence on YouTube is in the minds of the haters. It's just people who speak negatively about me. So they're not incentivized to ever talk about that, right? If I raise, uh, I raise, well, the Love's Huge community to raise $100,000 for Gaza during the month of Ramadan. We had a charity that was running up every single day, and we actually saw the food of people that I was going to. But the people are not going to publicize that because people are not incentivized to speak. Why is anyone going to no. say anything good about Sneeko? You get the same hit pieces, which is why I'm surprised you went into attack mode. You know that the soy boys, the Biden voters, and all these people, all they're going to do is speak negatively about people that are conservative and, and have the belief of God, and like you do. All right? And so you're kind of contributing to the same thing that happens. But that's... That's why you don't see that. You're just gonna see the negative things because that's no. social media. No, I actually anything positive that you do, it's not really, <laughs> it's not really like news. Even for me, um, you know, I've given out well over ten million dollars to random people in need. A hundred percent. I have a thousand cool. people's couches I can sleep on for life. But that's not really. You know, no, no one talks about that. Right. They're going to you know, make videos about like, I, I've seen it, like CoffeeZilla. These people will say like Steve's a, a terrible person, but they, they won't talk about the, you've done quite a bit of good. You know, you give away a lot of money to a charitable person. Yeah. And you know, it was, that, it was for a long time, I gave away a hundred percent of my money, a hundred percent liquid money would go away to people. And that's how I operated, uh, making my YouTube videos. And you know, the main theme of my YouTube videos were, was giving back and, uh, I know I feel the same. You don't get you don't get credit for good stuff. You get you only get credit and headlines for you know anything bad that could you know anything that could be seen as bad, and to get views and stuff. So I get it. I just wanted to. I would love to, you know, get some knowledge from you off stream. I'm not like the most comfortable talking. I know I said I want to ask questions and this and that. I'm really not the most comfortable talking about it online. I wanted to explain myself, but. Do you have um, any more questions? I have um, actually a Muslim scholar who's right. Like, I see, I ask questions about all this stuff a lot, right? Like, as we get seeking God, don't don't ever have the expectation that you got to be perfect, right? Like, um, the prophet he said that when he started introducing the message of God, he did not tell people about alcohol, gambling, and all this stuff. All he did was talk about the idea that God is real. Because if you know, if you gave everybody all the rules right away, that people wouldn't accept it. So it's a slow process. Like, right, once you have faith and you're showing gratitude. That's the first step. And then, and then you focus up there and to have the pressure, the expectation to be perfect is unrealistic and impossible. So if you, if you have any questions, uh, is it okay if, if I add somebody in, this is like somebody that I respect and I ask questions to as well. I, I have one question and I just want to know if I'm crazy and if I should just, if my head's in the wrong place. So it's just one question. Sure. Oh, you want me to add him in? I thought you were going to ask me. Okay, great. I'll add him oh, in. no, I would like to actually just ask you. You can answer this. Am yeah. I crazy? Am I great? Like, oh, I don't want to sound stupid. No, that's a good question. Like, again, I'm, I am crazy. I actually am. And, like, I'm, I do crazy things. Like, as in, I'm just spontaneous. I'll, you know, someone I meet on the street, I'll invite them to stay at my house forever. I'm, like, crazy. I feel that I, even though I am, I promote degeneracy because that's who i am um i i feel like i have a mission on this world and on this earth like to do good and help people and like and also say like hey it's cool to rep god it's cool to rep christianity whatever and yet i feel i really feel like i have a mission and then there's people like like six nine for example who the the devil and evil uses him to attack good like me. And even though, and I feel like, even though I'm not perfect and you know, I'm a d degenerate pig, I feel like I still can do what, like this mission good. of goodness. I, I would like, say the first feel, step is, uh, I, don't call yourself a degenerate pig, you're not, you know, you're Steve. 
That's who you are. You're not, your actions don't, def, like that doesn't define who you are, right? There's a, there's a good person there and like the stuff that's, that makes you imperfect, stuff like that, that's not gonna define you forever, All right? So I, I, w- I would start by, by stopping saying that. Like one thing that we believe is that you have to say positive things all the time because it, you wanna keep your, there's a phrase like you wanna keep your mouth wet with the name of God. So the more you repeat godly things and you say good things and you show gratitude, it's gonna start changing your life and your actions as well. I wouldn't even hold that belief that you're that you're a degenerate pig. Start thinking about the good in you, right? Like, because you see, no, I think I have a huge, huge mission, like, like huge, and and I also believe that I was not meant to be the number one YouTuber in the world with a nasty, nasty, nasty person like Takashi Six Nine at my head. That's basically me taking over the world with the devil by my side, straight up, like a guy that is can be influenced by evil like i and so i really think I, everything that's going everything's going good for my life it's perfect and then it's so funny right when stuff good stuff's happening the evil comes in and tries to get me and it's like nope now that i'm aware of it you can't do it now that i i am a man of god i, I really am conscious about like is this person am i coming into my life is he a nasty person and when i say nasty is is he being influenced by evil? Because I believe something like six nine represents the devil in my life. Um, but yeah, dude, I just feel like I have a huge mission, and like the signs and everything. I know the story was me gambling on UFC and everything, but I'm telling you, there's stuff I can tell you in private too that that is the You're seeing signs fire. of God of God's being real. Dude, I have the craziest story that happened. I can't say I'm like crazy it does not make sense why don't you say it, no but we don't think you're crazy these are these are no, no, this, no this one no this one this one <laughs> i can't i can't say i have to tell you in private it doesn't make sense and then shortly after like work you're gonna give me this book open it on the page i see the word gambling and that just stuck out to me because i was gambling at the time i was watching ufc i just had 20k at ufc just for fun it's for fun i was like and i won the fight i said if this guy loses this split decision Every sign is telling me, I just have to read this book. I just have to read it. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm just going to read it. And then by page 49, I have faith. And dude, having faith is super cool. Like super cool. As in, like when I get on an airplane, I'm super scared of airplanes. But now I'm not because you have faith. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I'm meant to do something huge in life and I really believe that, the plane's not going to crash, right? I I need to be here. I really believe I have a ma- mission. I know that, again, I really don't want to be judged on anything I'm saying. Uh, like when I get into the car at Nicaragua at night with the driver, I don't know, and there's no lights, and I'm super, like, I'm like, would usually be super scared, but I have faith. Like, I just know I'm meant for something great, and which is good. And um, it's cool, man. Having faith is cool. So if we're, if, like you said, Allah, we pray to the same God and stuff. So we essentially, we are on we're on the same team, we're right? On the same team, like, right? It's God versus so, the devil. Yeah, good versus evil, and exactly. in my exactly. whole and my whole motto, and another reason why I um came out to you, I, my whole motto in 2024, 2025, 2026, I've been so I've been fucked over so many times. I have so many fuck yous to tell to nasty people. And my whole thing is just no nasty people. Like I'm down to call out any nasty person because I have no skeletons in my closet besides like fucking hookers and 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 whatever. It's like it, it's my brand. <laughs> um, so it's like I'm down to to call out any nasty person because it's like you. There's nothing you could say about me like that that I'm not like proud of. Almost like not proud of, but that I know and that everybody else knows. It's like the. It's like the, the the eight mile song, the Eminem when he's like, you can you like you know what are you gonna say about me? I am white. I am yeah. I, do I am bit, whatever you say. Oh, I am. Oh, no, no. It's like who gives you know? So that's why, and I kind of just went after you, without talking to you, which was, you know, I should just I should always talk to, the person, uh, if I'm attacking someone, talk to him unless it's like, someone like six nine. I don't need to talk to him before I post uh, like. Whatever, because the guy's a real nasty. But someone that I, I shouldn't just jump the gun. I should have messaged you. But yeah, it's it's all weird. This is all new for me, man. I'm telling you, it's all. I'm trying to understand it. 
uh, it's all new. Yeah, so I, I forgive you. You know, I'm not upset whatsoever. I understand that everybody has a personal journey with God. And I think it's good that you're starting this. And I, I hopefully that, do you know how is your content going to change? Or do you know what you're going to be doing going forward? How, how is your faith going to coincide with your, your content? Um, I don't think I'm going to change my content at all. I'm going to keep it, keep it me. I just, I think that I need to be like, Hey, it's cool to be Christian because there's nobody out that, you know, out there. Cause in the beginning of this book, all it, the beginning was like, really like, um, how many people are, are Christians and how many millions and how many millions aren't actually gonna, you know, see the light at the end of the tunnel, if you know what I'm saying. So there's a lot of people that need saving it said. I'm like, shit, I'm very influential. People like look up to me. If if I'm, you know, repping, if I really believe in God and have faith, then it's my duty to like kind of share that. But then it's also like when you do share that, you get, you get, it's weird because you get, I don't like, like I keep saying, I don't want to get made fun of by talking my, about God and stuff. Like, so I guess I have to like kind of just ignore that. But as far as the, my content, there's not going to be no change and, and Steve will do it as far as like, I'm just going to rep. It's cool to be Christian. It's cool to rep God. You know, obviously good is good is better than evil. Like you be on the good side. Don't, don't be a Takashi 6 9 where the devil works through you. Let, let God work for you. Be good, spread good. Be, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, what, so do you, what do you think separates somebody like you from somebody like 6 9 Ooh, I don't know, man. I, I, the in here, but I don't, I, I don't know. That's a, that's a hard one because he's, he's a real nasty person. I, I, don't, I don't know what separates, uh, someone like from me, me from anybody else. I, I really don't know. Okay. I, I get, I get fucked up a lot because I just assume, I, whoever I'm dealing with has the same exact intentions and heart as me, right? And that's where you get fucked over a lot is if you just assume someone has the same intentions as you and is good like you, then that you can get fucked over. So I don't know what the difference is. I just know that some people, I, I guess some people, the devil can work in some people and they let it happen. I, 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 that's the thing. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't okay. know. All I know is that there's someone like him represents evil in my life. And I truly believe that it was just the timing and everything. It's just crazy. And it, and even if I'm not right, it's good that I think that because now it's like I'm very careful just about who I deal with, who's close to me, everything. Um, but again, I really it, this is like hard to <laughs> talk about and stuff. No, that's fine. I mean, it, yeah. that, that makes sense, right? Like he's done. He's probably screwed you over. He's taken money from you. He's lied to you. So I would say like maybe... everybody It's like every it's not just me. It's like he's just a that like he literally represents evil in this world like not to just me it's not just oh he fucked me over and it's just me and him it's it's a whole thing see but again there, there I don't was a time to... there was a time where you guys were on the same page and doing the same things yeah i know and it's crazy and that's why it all makes like I always i never understood why my youtube channel and stuff will be deleted and maybe you were the same thing but maybe you feel differently now that it was meant to be because you you had a, you know, that wasn't your script, right? For me, I don't think it was my script to be the king of the world with somebody like that at my side. And uh, yeah, man, it's, well, it's weird yeah, stuff. It's if you cool believe stuff. in God, then pretty much we, we believe that everything happens for a reason. So that was the way that yeah. I accepted getting banned on YouTube. It's like, this is all part of the plan. God is the best yeah, planner. Plan. So you have to take it, you know, instead of victimizing myself, I'm just like this, it is what it is. And I'm supposed to work harder now and I'm supposed to, to do the right thing and work twice as hard as my competition because you know, I have to I have to fight against the evil people that control YouTube. Yeah, they're, they're nasty people, I'll tell you that. Nasty Very people. nasty people. I, I want to ask you a question. I, I, I'm not sure. If you feel uncomfortable, just let me know. But what, what do you believe a man of God is? What, is, what does that mean? You, you say this. What is the definition of that? Um, well, for me, I live, I live everything good. Like I live a good, like I, I'm, I'm very, I mean, I don't know if you've ever heard anyone say of me fucking them over or doing no, bad. I, I have to say, everybody says like, you're a great guy. Everybody that knows you personally has nice things to say about you. 
you do have a good reputation. People say like, oh, you have a good heart. You know, you're kind of like a golden retriever. Like you're, you're like a happy guy all the time. Yeah, good, but I always do good. Can't lie. Even like, you know, I always have to pay, like always pay my bookie, everything. Like I never, I just, I do good. I just, and I always like, I, I'm telling you what I do on camera. I do that off camera. Like every dude, like I've given out, I've <laughs> weird amount of, not that that makes you good, but I just, I, I, I see someone and I want to help them and it's, I can't help myself. And I feel like I'm a, maybe we can, maybe instead of, I can add an O in there and I'm a man of good. And that's what I feel like. And I really feel like I'm like, oh, you know, it sounds crazy. Don't make fun of me. But I feel like I'm like a very strong soldier for God, like a strong soldier. You're a soldier Even of God. I like that. I like that. Okay. But then think for, because I think when you, when you get upset about my tweets, you're like, okay, Sneeko isn't perfect, but he's trying to tell people to do better. What do you think your audience gets from your content? Um, my con I mean, my, I think if you watch my, did you watch my X video? No, I saw you posted it. It was you giving money to sketch. Yeah. I mean, if you watch the video, I think, I think it's a lot of giving back as there's no, it's, I think you, if anything to be good, you get a lot of people like, I hope that, I think it's contagious when you see I, the amount of messages I get of that, how people, they see what I do and they get influenced to do good. It's amazing. But um, for me, the content I do, I really just want to in entertain people, make them laugh. And uh, yeah. What do you think Spread they get good. from the, um, from like, what do you think they get from the happy dad and the gambling streams and, uh, you know, promoting OnlyFans? What, what do you think your audience gets from that? Um, they get entertainment, especially when they watch me gamble. Uh, I don't know if you watch me. I'm in the casino, real life casino, non-sponsored, 10 hours straight, you know, going hard. I think they get entertained and they live through me. Um, anybody like, and I, and I really think of gambling as an experience. If you like, if you had $5,000 in your name, you're going to go to Best Buy and spend six grand. You can't like it, like, you know what I'm saying? If, if a lot of is courtside tickets are $10,000 and you have $10,000, should you spend $10,000 on, on the seats? No, it's an experience. I'm like, I'm telling you, you have to, you have to gamble um, uh, amongst your means and anybody that, 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 that's what I think. I think if you, if you don't, if you say that you can't do that, it's this, that, then I think you're just a weak person. Like okay. it's, it's, it's. And what, I feel like, what uh, about happy dad? What do you think happens to, to your audience when you, uh, the promotion of alcohol? Um, yeah, see, I'm, I'm not gonna, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to answer that. I, I think alcohol's literally everywhere. So for me to be cornered about alcohol, you'd have to corner a hundred million people, right? Like, like I, 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 I drink. That's what I do. I drink, I drink and I gamble. It's, it's what I do off camera, on camera, this, that I, it's fun. It's a great, it's great to do with friends. Very social, it's fun time. Um, you just can't abuse it. Uh, anything you can't abuse anything, even if it's good, you can't abuse it. It's, uh, you know, do you want to so, drink? Do you want to drink and gamble forever? I mean, in a per perfect world, yeah. So, okay. I mean, what, what, in this world, you, you want to do that forever? I mean, I don't see myself getting bored of it. I'll tell you that. Okay. So, I mean, I really do whatever I want. So, if I, if one day I, I don't want to do it, I won't do it. But right now, you know, I have twenty k in the on the Orioles uh, hockey. I don't even watch hockey. It's fun. It's my thing. Twenty k is like. That's like my base bet won't affect me, whatever. I'm not doing any, it's, that's entertainment for me. I treat it entertaining. So right, it's fun. As a soldier of God, what do you think God wants you to do? He clearly wants me to keep doing what I'm doing. All the signs is like, dude, you got this, bro. Like, like what, is, what does it say about gambling in that book? Oh, not, nothing. It just said, it just, it had the word gambling. It was, there was no, cause at first I was like, shit, 
do I have to stop gambling when I saw that? And it, w- it wasn't that. It was just saying a, a statistic on um, how, like, half people thought it was morally good. Half of them thought it was whatever. It was just, it had a bunch of statistics. It wasn't, like, a big point. But that's the word that got me to, like, whoa. It hit me, like, in the face. Just, just the word gambling. Okay. The well, word, I, yeah, like, be, it was, like, because it you're was a Christian. crazy. Uh, I, so drinking is not a sin in Christianity, right? But drunkenness is a sin. The state of drunkenness, you're not supposed to be incoherent. You're so always supposed to be able to think straight so that you can have a proper communication with God. If you're in a state of drunkenness in Christianity, then you're not going to be able to communicate with God properly. So by promoting that sort of state, like the full send it, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm stupid drunk. You're going to separate people no, from I, being able to communicate with God. Well, then fortunately, I don't promote excessive drinking so it was good at all like excessive drinking is bad and um yeah dude i just promote good i that's it i gotta hold on, i gotta plug my phone just being good okay being a good person uh keeping it on it and that's it the whole god thing is just like i couldn't ignore it man i could somebody to the call. No. Focus on Dawa and Tawheed? Yeah, I know. It wasn't Masad. Fuck. I'm trying to add uh, to the call. Okay, you text me. My bad. Yo. Yeah, my fault. I was I was adding somebody to the call and it, it disconnected. Okay. Yeah, just making sure. Um, so, w- what did you think about like the reaction to to everybody on on Twitter and all that? Uh I thought it was it wasn't cool how you guys how like I get attacked if I say I'm a man of God and stuff, and it's like, oh, you can't be one because this that and the third like i I didn't like that and i honestly just i I just didn't like it was a thing in general i there was i hate being in beef on the internet so my reaction was like oh shit i don't like this um so yeah okay um are you gonna start i mean yeah it's just a it's a difficult situation like um it, it is more popular to speak about this. People are looking to, to do this more. Uh, and uh, you're starting to post videos on X. You're turning, you're turning X into your new YouTube channel, correct? Yeah, dude. It's like, the guy say fuck you to everyone, man. Everyone that's just, you know what I'm saying. You're, you're banned on literally YouTube, Twitch, and anything else. And Instagram. I just got banned on during Ramadan. Um, Holy fuck. Yeah, I lost my Instagram too. But... What, what for? Uh, they didn't give me a reason. They just banned it. Probably because I was, I've been speaking about Israel and Palestine pretty frequently. Um, can you turn your camera on, Steve? Camera? Yeah, your camera's off. Oh, it's on. There we go. There we go. Oh, this, is, this is my friend here. Um... Oh, dude, I'm not giving this guy in touching. Dude, okay. this guy's a loser. Steve. Oh, he left. He can't, he can't handle it, Sneeko. He can't handle it. Okay. All right. Well, what were you going to say? I was going to say he's scared of a fight, right? He went after you. He went after you for... He's just making up stuff saying you didn't get the contract. He's just jealous. He's just mad that you're getting more views by promoting a strong message. And then he just sat here promoting degeneracy, alcohol, gambling, haram shit. And you're more relevant when you got cancelled. He got cancelled off YouTube. No one knows who he is. You got cancelled, you became bigger than ever, and he's attacking you, so I'm defending you. And he got mad. I like Steve Wudu. There's actually a DM of me. I messaged him in like August 2023. I was like, bro, we should do a podcast. 
it'll be good, blah, blah, blah. But then when I see him show his true colors after he's got drunk, it's crazy. And today he sent me about 40 unread messages on Twitter DMs. Some messages saying, fuck you. Some messages saying, sorry, bro, I, I like you're okay. I like you. Maybe I'm drunk. And he's just a crazy out of reality kind of guy, bro. He wants Trump to fuck his girlfriend. I don't know what to say. He's crazy. Okay. Yeah, he's... Um... All right, I guess I guess we're not gonna do it. Yeah, he's texting. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to to join the call. But yeah, I mean, I, pr I appreciate you defending. What else? Um, was there anything else you were gonna say, Steve? Let's have the fight. I'm waiting. Let's have the fight. Your name is Steve. We'll do it. You know, you gotta do it. You can't run. Let's have the fight, Steve. So tell him to join the call. Let's have a fight. We can set it up boxing, MMA. You know, let's do it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna. I'll hang up on him and uh, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't want to, let me, let me call him right back, okay? All right, bro, take it. All right, thanks for staying up. All Okay. Alright, you call me some lantern. I think he wants to sleep. All right. I think that's fair. I think uh I think that's fair. You should have added Zerka to speak to him about Christ. That would have been uh way better. Yeah. Right, let me see this Yay tweet. Let me call him back. You should have had a lantern. I think he went to sleep. He went to sleep. What'd you think of that cover? Oh, he tweeted. Let's see. Oh, he deleted. Okay. Steve was nice. Yeah, it was a good call. It was a good call. But um, 
Yeah, for people saying like snake and all this stuff, I mean, it was pretty, it was pretty disrespectful. I'm not going to preempt. Hold on, let me go to the bathroom real quick. In five, four, three, two. Okay, to do that it's not the same screen i want to get i want to get steve back in here um because he doesn't want to do that we don't need to do that for clips i want to finish the the conversation if he wants to um and, and for people saying like people saying that i'm a snake and all this stuff like he, he went publicly trying to tarnish my reputation it went it went really public and i, I still didn't hear an apology we still have more of the conversation to, to speak about um and i would like to keep but Like, like, are we not going to act like, um, are we not going to, did you not see everything that was said? Did you, in, did you hear an apology? Like he was trying to get people to, he's trying to ruin my reputation. And I was under the impression that, that this was, um, that this would be something that could happen. I feel bad for him though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call him up. You said you forgave him. I still forgive him. I still forgive him. But yeah, I mean, he did never apologize. Check yay. Link me the, the yay tweet. I do forgive him. I do for, I'm not upset. I do forgive him. All right. He doesn't want to call back. He doesn't want to call back. Let's see. Oh, no way. Hold on, let me just 
Bombocline. Bombocline. No, I thought it wasn't real. Yay just tweeted Yeezy porn is coming. Go to Yeezy.com. Go to No bro. There's no way, bro. <clears throat> Go to Yeezy.com. Yeah, yeah, this is not good, bro. This is not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good. We missed the Jesus is King, yay. We missed the Christ is King. We missed the... This is, a, this is not what we want. He's a genius in marketing. This is not what we want to see whatsoever, bro. To be able to go from, from what he was promoting to this is just like... A complete like how are you gonna go talk about Zionism who controls the world and, and then get to this Fuck. TTS yeah TTS is on put it at three dollars talk to me What it, link me the what he posted on Instagram too. Do we miss the old Kanye? 